In this video, I'm going to share with you some t-shirt design tips where you can go from beginner to pro pretty easily. You can take one simple graphic file and create something unique out of it. And I'm going to share with you all these tips in this video and hopefully by using these tips you can get more sales and create better designs. If you are new here, this channel consists of tutorial videos on how to grow your print-on-demand business, how to create designs for beginners, and also advanced tutorials for designers using Canva, Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. So if you are interested in growing your print-on-demand business or improving your designing skills, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. I will use a graphic file from one of the bundles on Creative Fabrica. I will talk about this bundle in detail in my next video. You will find a link to it in the description. Now, I will open my Adobe Illustrator and choose a workboard of 4500 by 5400. It is always better to plan ahead which t-shirt color you are designing on. I was planning to make a design for a red t-shirt, so I will add a red background to my design. Now I will place one of the SVG files from the downloaded bundle. As you can see, the file is completely black and does not have any other colors. To add colors to our graphic, I will use a couple of different methods. First, I will add a background color to the design and with the shape builder tool, I will remove the extra parts outside my graphic. Now I will add additional colors using my pencil tool. You can do that by drawing with your pencil tool and moving the drawn layer to the background of your black layer of the main graphic while keeping it at the front of the blue layer. I will do the same to all the areas of the Jeep tires. Now we can add more colors to our graphic using the same method. Another method to add colors is to use the Pathfinder. To do that, simply select all your shapes and use the Divide option inside the Pathfinder window. After that, you have to ungroup the design. This will separate all the parts of your design. Now, you can color each part separately without problems.
Now let's add our main text. I will choose a bold font for the design and adjust the text from the character window. Now I will transform the text into an outline. This will make the text uneditable so that we can add some effects. Now from the object menu, I will choose an offset path to add another layer to my work. This layer will give me an additional shadow effect on my main text. Now, using the blend tool, I will smoothen the shadow and make it thinker. Now I will add texture to the white parts of the text. To do that, make sure to group the white text and place the texture file inside the transparency panel. This will create a beautiful dirt effect on our text. Now let's add additional text to the design.
We can add additional graphics to the design to fill up the empty spaces. I will add some additional graphics from Google. It is important to expand all the design before you export it. Now I will use the transparency panel to create an outline effect around my Jeep. Finally, we can create a couple of different versions of the design and change some colors to fit on different backgrounds. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions or need more explanations, please write in the comments below the video. Thanks for watching.